It's really time right now to hunt down some Druki. Let me tell you. If anyone can out-edge the Druki, it's going to be Alithanar. We'll talk about his backstory and why he's really angry at Dark Elves a little bit later. For now, let's go over a few faction effects here. And to let you know, I'll be playing on a very hard difficulty for the campaign and battle difficulty for my Alithanar campaign. Okay, suitable climate, wasteland. We like to keep our people, well, uncomfortable. That's why we're always angry. Eliminating characters that are marked for death grants various rewards like gold, influence, and even like campaign or army effects. Okay, global recruitment duration goes down by minus one for all units. So where a spearman unit would take two turns to recruit globally, it'll now take only one. That'll be great for whenever we need to resupply. And over here, we've got a campaign movement range that goes up by a further 10% for all armies, not only me. And down here for personal lord effects, we have a ambush chance that will go up by 25%. And our Shadow Walkers are 50% cheaper too. We do begin with Shadow Walkers, one group of Spearmen, which is okay, and a Moon Dragon. That means we probably have some really tough battles ahead of us. If they give you a dragon at the very beginning of the game, they're telling you, hey, get ready. Okay, let's go in. I'm gonna be chatting during that little cinematic by the old man who's trying to cozy up to me. Normally, I think Alith Anar would say, hey, get away from me. War comes in the mortal empires of man. Orc and dwarf expand. Hey, I like that. The Druki too dare to think that their sordid kingdoms can grow beyond Nagaroth. Yeah, we won't let that happen. Where Loic dances, the folk of Nagaroth must follow. And now the Shadow Dancer God cavorts across the world. Alithana, your hatred of the Druki is beyond compare. Your very name strikes fear into their icy hearts. As it should. They are traitors all. In the West, they carry on, living their sadistic lives, ignorant that your vengeance nears. Soon they will fall foul of your blade or bow. Others, too, inhabit these cold mountains. Some are bestial and fueled by rage while vermin bring forth plague and death. All thirst for dominance of these frozen lands. Across the great ocean, Cain's servants threaten the heart of Ulthwen. They control a source of great power, one that, if claimed, can twist minds and bestow untold strength. Your time beckons, Alithana. Cut the heads from the Hydra, and with it, bring an end to this eternal war. I do plan on that. I've been at this for a very long time, but now I'm going to kill a few more Druki than usual. Okay, here it's kind of giving me my little overview of faction mechanics, but I'm going to show you myself instead of reading it out loud. So first off, we've got one called Marked for Death. We do have three targets we're able to take out every 20 turns. Whenever we do so, we get influence, gold, and potentially other effects too. Okay, my chapter objective issued is to occupy, loot, raise, or sack four different locations. If I do so, they'll give me 2,000 gold, whoever they are. The powers of the beam. Alright, so I'm going to go after you. You're fairly far. Exarian, you're pretty close to me. I'll kill you first. Anokru, you're back at home. You're the leader of the Scourge of Cain. Now, normally my kingdom is over here in Uthawan. Uthawan is made up of multiple kingdoms, and Nagara is one of those kingdoms. Now, there used to be more land to it, but a jackass called the Witch King, or Malekith, he decided to try to destroy everything. But again, we'll talk about him later. Okay, over here we do have the Sword of Cain. Now, whenever you take this location, the tier 1 building that you need to build to actually pull out the blade will take you 5 turns to build, but you can't actually pull it out until you build a tier 2 building, so that will take you a further 10 turns, meaning that you need 15 turns of holding the Shrine of Cain in order to actually pull out the blade. So you can't just conquer it and be like, hey, it's mine now. No, you've got to actually build a nice little shrine there, give it a hug, read it a bedtime story, and then later it'll come out and up you out. Oh, and curse your bloodline too. Okay, then we have two other mechanics over here for Elithanar. And it's really what makes them very powerful. First off, whenever you're moving around and you try to attack people, you're constantly stalking people. You know how to get into their locker rooms and leave them love letters. And Elithanar loves to do that to Druki. And so he's able to do that with a great chance whenever he's attacking him. Then we've got the Shadow Realm over here, which is like using a beast pathway for the Beastman Warherds or the Underway for the Dwarves or Orcs or whoever. 
but there is no chance for enemies to intercept you at all. Which means you can bypass them whenever you want. It's really great. It nearly feels like a quasi hybrid of a horde army, but also not being a horde army. Okay, so let's go over here now and change up a few animation speeds. We want to be able to move quickly throughout it all. Who's our trade partner? Tedanok. Formerly a great and rich kingdom. I mean, they still have money, but they used to have a lot more too. Yo, Los Erickson of the Cool, you're over here in Skagi. And it looks like the Skagi King right now is a number cool. two power, really. That is dangerous and I don't like it. I'll have to go kill them later. Let's go into battle right now. So in the very beginning, what I like to do, I like to kind of sample my faction's power. Even though the beginning battle like that is really not that challenging, the point is to find out how powerful our units are. So we've got two Dark Shards, some Dread Spears, some Bleak Swords. Two Bleak Swords right now. And I'm going to use my Moon Dragon to probably breathe a little bit. Maybe on a melee unit. I could use my range units to go after the Dark Shards. It's really up to me on how I approach it. But looking at the terrain on this little map, I think I have an idea on how we're going to play it all out. Then we'll probably end our turn and get ready to have a new turn. All right, let's go check things out. Let's have a look. The sweet life of Alethanar. Let's go bring him right over here. Shadow Walkers, you'll join him right now. I'm going to put you into guard mode. You as well, my friend. Now, he's got a very cool ability, and we're going to look at all of them in just a little while. Moon Dragon, you'll come over here. Spearman, you're going to be in the middle. Archers, you too. Go into guard mode. All of you go into guard mode. It's very important. Understood. And now, I do believe we are ready. So before we go kill everyone, as we are wont to do, let's go check out Alithanar. After I summon in my clone. That's right, he's got a nice little ability over here called Mislead, where he's able to create a clone of himself. That is rather misleading, and it's going to keep me alive, and it's going to allow me to tank my foes for a period of time, but... Here's what he looks like. It might be a clone, but it is a perfect clone. And there we go. A magical arrow going for my foes. Here are my Shadow Walkers who are fighting with me right now. They look darn cool. You can check them out. And then, there I am. Okay. Let's go back over here. Time for me to keep on attacking. Keep on going after Dark Shards right now. I think I want my Archers to go after more Dark Shards. And Dragon, I'm going to have you breathe on... Maybe their leader for now. That might be a pretty good idea. Yeah, go breathe on their leading unit where we can break them. Now, I do enjoy these colors quite a bit. These guys look great. If I was a Druki, I'd be like, man, I am styling right now. I look good. But then I would be terrified by the giant dragon coming my way. Yeah, that might be fair. That might be fair. Let's go after this group over here. You two keep on attacking. Spearman, I want you to move in in just a moment. Not yet. My clone will be gone eventually, like that, yeah. Okay, let's go. Don't let him touch me. Don't come near me. You're a gross druki. Okay, let's move out. This one group in trouble. Let's go after another dark shard group right now. Because we're in guard mode, we shouldn't be moving too often anyway. All right, I could let you go into melee. I might as well let you do that right now. Let's go, come on, buddy. You're a hybrid unit, and I want you to go into combat to cut off a few heads. Okay, my dragon can come back and go after more dark shards, or maybe even breathe a little bit on these dark elves over here. It's really up to me. Yeah, you know what? Come over here. Breathe on them. Shadow Walkers want you to move over here to their flank. You'll kill more of them. Archers, you'll move up a little bit. Oh, good work. Yeah, man. Go charge right in. So what about you, Alithanar? I think you're having a pretty good time. Go straight into it. Like that, yeah. It's a good way to do it. I think you charge in, so go charge in right now. The Druki are powerful. They can do a lot of damage, even though they have very few numbers here. Whenever they get their murderous intent, they're buffed up for a period of time, and that won't be fun. Okay, wait there for now. I believe they're all broken, finally. Okay, they're out of here now. We killed a lot. My Moon Dragon killed over 100. I mean, again, that's really why they gave me a Moon Dragon. They're telling me, hey, you're going to have really tough battles in the future. My Shadow Walkers killed 120. Yeah, let's go look at what they have over here. 28 missile damage. They do have poison. They're able to debuff their foes for 10 seconds. They've got quite a bit of ammunition, a range of 180, which is quite good. They've got a weapon strength of 34, and they do have a bonus with fighting infantry. 
Their melee attack is very high too, and it's also poison. 42 melee attack. They've got a very high chance to hit enemies whenever they get engaged in melee combat. Okay. I don't need to chase any of you, but I wanted to go over a few of the stats because we were busy in a battle. But now, we lost only 37. Considering we took out 351, it's really not too bad. Yeah, my goal is to try to draw out any enemy army, and then we move in, and then we attack them. We ambush them, we try to destroy them, and then later we go to their towns and burn down their towns. In my Asterio campaign, I would never loot and raise any type of location that belongs to Ulthawan. But over here, oh yeah, I'm going to do a lot of terrible things. Look in its shadows. My kindred's embrace. Okay, armor of silvered steel. The gleaming all encasing suit of silver is light, but still grants the wearer a heavy degree of protection. Surely the hallmarks of elven artifice. So we get 10 more armor for that. One province completed. Okay, we've got banished corruption. We've got rally citizen militia. Rebuild lost splendor for cheaper buildings and more growth. Over here, tribute to the Phoenix King. No. And Reaver Patrols. I like that one more. Enemies will not be able to move here quickly. Time to repair my buildings real quick. Alright, I'm currently level 2. So now we can go look at our build. We do have one unique line over here. Revenant. That will be unlocked at level 10. And I'll begin to look at those later on when we get to level 10. Okay, here's another unique line. Seeking arrows. These enchanted arrows have been carefully crafted from the pale wooded trees that grow near the Grove of Avalorn. Yeah, that would make me a bit more powerful, but I would like to move further, I think. So I'm going to pick up Route Marcher. I know that I can move far now, but what if I can move further? All right, we'll take that. Now I'm going to recruit more spearmen, more archers. I would like to get more shadow walkers, but two turns might be way too long. I'll think about it. Okay. It should be time for me to end my turn now, yeah. I could use global recruitment. To get more units right away. The only downside is if you look at it, 475 to recruit locally, 915 to recruit globally. So even though the time goes down, the cost does not go down for that. But I think I will take more spearmen in the very beginning. That way we're not really having to wait too long to get a full army. I want to make sure that we have a full army. Anyway, Malekith was once the ruler of Nagareth one of the elven kingdoms of Ulthar One. When he fled with many of his followers into the northwest, they became the Druki, or the Dark Elves. Now, there were those of Nagareth who remained behind, and one of them was Alith Anar. He was chosen to rule after the Witch King fled. Back then, there were still a lot of Dark Elves left in Nagareth, and Alith Anar was rather pissed off, so he made sure to purge them all. Those not killed in battle were crucified on trees. He made sure to be prolific in his killing sprees, which, you know, as high scores for High elves were rather important. I mean, where do you think they get the word high from their names? It's not all that halfling pipeweed. Okay, right on locks. The invocation of Mirai Heg. I could use that. If I do that, then I get a hand of the Shadow Crown. 2,500 gold, though. The elven goddess of fate and death. Within her rune pouch, she holds the fate of all beings upon the mortal plane. Okay. A unique hero capable of assassinating without fail. I do like that, but I'm going to wait. I do not have a lot of gold right now. I would love to go after Hag Hall. I wonder if I could take it out early on. So we need to move about over here. We can form our encampment, recruit more units again. Okay, I've got plenty of archers. I mean, I've got four. That should be sufficient. Okay. It's time for me to again in my turn. I've got my... Azanar camp over here, the secret meeting place of the Azanar, the sons and heirs of the Shadow King. Now if you look at it, whenever I have that building built and people try to move here, they have a really hard time moving around. They have a hard time using any of their agents. I mean, we're everywhere. We can hear what they're doing all the time. Okay, it's time for me to end my turn again. There's not really much more for me to do right now. I've got to go kill Xerion. Yeah, after one prominent battle called the Battle of Griffin Pass, Alithanar captured 700 Druki. And, of course, what he did here was to have them knelt high upon the white cliffs overlooking the narrow valley. They were knelt alive and were left here to die. Years later, he went to attack Nagara, the land of the Druki, and would often attack his ships, convoys, and warriors all over. 
Legend has it that the madman disguised himself and danced with Marathi herself at the court of the Witch King before stealing the Stone of Midnight. Now she would send her witch elves to find him, but he had laced their blood drinks with poison because he knew they couldn't control themselves. Yeah, the Stone of Midnight was originally given to Marathi from her lover, Anarian. All right, Ready. let's have a look. I can move in right now, or I could go into the Shadow Realm. I would love to get more units. I might as well do that. I do not want to go around right now. Other factions are not attacking me right now. I'll have to get them later. What about over here? Tedanaka, know that you like me. Good. Fear Scourge of Cain. It looks like you're not doing well anymore. You were doing well initially, but no longer. Okay, I can either stay here and recruit more. If I do that, I'll feel better about my future siege battle. Or I can move in now. It's really up to me. Let's go. Here we go. If I want to move around, if I want to go back home, I can. There's no chance for anyone to find me. That's really a great part. You can kind of dictate what you want to do at that point. Okay, so we're going to end our turn again. Yeah, I feel like if the Witch King feared anyone, it might be the Shadow King. He's like, oh crap, I left a few people back at home. Why did I do that? And he probably slept with my mother. But then again, Marathi would probably be okay with that. Marathi's into a lot of stuff. I mean, she's into the Cult of Pleasure. Yeah, if you want one really great and edgy character for the Dark Elves to read about, Malice Darkblade. It's really over the top, but it's rather enjoyable. Hopefully we get him in here. All right. Twilight is here. So you, I can beat if you come to fight me directly on the field of battle. But because you're here, I might need to move around. Yeah. I'm going to Vol's Anvil. If you would like to follow me, feel free to do so. I'm sure you might even outnumber me after that, but that is okay. If they try to come back over to my land, again, keep in mind, they will be able to move 30% slower in my lands. I mean, that's really powerful. Okay. If I brought in that agent to get rid of that lord, that's one powerful lord gone. But 2,500 gold gone as well. I'm going to keep what I have right now. Okay, let's end our turn once more. The cool part is, when I'm ending my turns, it looks like we're not having to really worry about long load times, which is really important, especially for a faction where you can kind of dictate things on your own terms, such as what Alithanar is able to do. He likes to go to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, me too. Did you know that, like, back in the day, before Yu-Gi-Oh! became, like, a huge anime for a period of time and, like, led to a very popular children's trading card game, uh, that it was a manga. And that manga was very dark. I'm telling you, man, he would play a bunch of made-up games, and if they failed, he would, like, mind-break them, completely eviscerate them mentally. It was pretty dark, man. No. And I liked it a lot. <laughs> dances, so shall I. Then they were like, hey, you know what? Would be great. A card game. Okay, so I've already beaten you already, but if I auto resolve, I promise you I would lose way too many, so we're going in again. And I feel like that's Time rather for appropriate for Alithanar. We get to personally look at everyone who dies, and it'll be a great way for me to level up. So, my goal I will try to complete any mission I have to kill whoever I can. But I am going to take my time. I'm going to destroy my foes. I can even burn down lands if I want to. But I doubt burning down lands would really impair my foes like it might impair me. I would rather conquer a location and have it for my own personal use, but I would like to go back home later on, too. Okay, that is the truth. Let's go ahead and look around real quick. We've got spearmen over here. What am I going to do? Archers. Guard mode. Shadow walkers, you'll join me later. Spearmen, you'll guard them. Put one of you over here. One of you over here, and a few more of you back here. Who else do I have? Yeah, I'm you. There's not a lot of trees for me to use, but we could probably attack a few of them. Yeah, come join me. We shall ambush an enemy or two. Moon Dragon, move over here. I'll need a really good name for my Moon Dragon. I mean, that's a Moon Dragon. I've got to have a name for it. It's very important. Okay, here they come right now. Let's go. I'm going to go after some Dark Shards for fun. If they would like to come after me, well, so be it. But for now, I'm going to go kill them. Look at my colors, too. That is what Nagareth is meant to look like before, you know, the Druki became the Druki. 
Other kingdoms are not a huge fan of us. We kind of complain about one guy all the time. The Witch King. <laughs> We're not a huge fan. Okay, keep on killing them. My Moon Dragon can take any damage. It'll be okay. Go use your clone. That's a great idea. You already wiped out a lot of Dark Shards. Great work. Okay, so they're moving in right now. Let's keep on waiting for a minute. Move on back. Yeah, move on up. You've already killed 10. Oh, great work. That was really quick. Jeez, man. I didn't know that would be so quick. Yeah, move back my dragon. Let the archers take care of a few more of them. Shadow Walkers, come over here. Go after more Dark Shards. I've killed a lot of their Bleak Swords already. Archers, now you can focus on their own units, too. Okay. We're about to go charge down. I'm going to move two of you over here real quick. Over here. And let's see. Yeah. Let's keep on moving around. We surround them all, they're gonna be in big trouble. Volley after volley, and they all fall apart. We're about to have another Dragon Breath attack in just a little while. We're about to use that, just not yet. Yeah, wait over here. I don't need to go into slow motion. Go use your breath attack like right over here. Oh, here they come. Okay, Shadow Walkers, go help out. Go kill some bleak swords right now. Archers go after dark shards, we'll kill them. Go charge in. Great work, you got it. I had a feeling you would be all right. Yeah, go right behind them, go charge in. We do have a charge defense whenever fighting large foes, but none of these Druki are large foes. Okay, Moon Dragon, how many have you killed now? 125, another great amount of kills, and now they are fleeing in terror. Okay, archers, go after that one group. Again, it's only a siege battle, so whenever they break, that will be it for them. The yeah, Lithanar is getting ready to kill a few more. Another now they're fleeing again. He's like, oh, don't worry. I've got a few areas for you. I mean, the guy's like a freaking mobile ballista. He launches arrows like crazy. All right, let's go in their battle again. So now you know a little bit about his backstory. Oh yeah, we got more kills again. I don't actually know where to go in my campaign, but that's gonna be the fun part, trying to figure it out. I did it pre-played to kind of like figure things out, so we're gonna be improvising as we go along, which feels very appropriate for a type of guerrilla faction like we have going on right now. I really do enjoy his faction mechanics. I mean, it gives him a lot of dictating power, and I love being able to dictate what my foes can do. Okay, so we are going to loot and occupy. I'm empowered by Loic. We have a new right unlocked, the Invocation of Isha, which I'm not going to use. That would cost me 2,000 gold. Ooh. I don't want that. Maybe later, though. Yeah, maybe later. Okay, level 3 for you. What are we going to give you, my friend? More public order, more money. Enemy hero... Okay, let's see. That would be handy, actually. Wary is pretty good, but I'll get it later. For now, we're going to pick up... Let me keep on looking. Bowmaster would be nice to have for my units. I would like to buff up my units a little bit. Yeah. More melee defense, more damage for my range units. Any of that would work out for me. So we're going to do that right now, and later we're going to buff him up. That won't take as long, but I think he's going to be okay right now, so I don't really need to buff him up any further. Okay, I'm going to take a few more units again. I want to get over here maybe my Shadow Warriors. They've got an upkeep of 213. They're much more expensive. A range of 180. Missile damage of 23. No poison at all. A weapon strength of 32. Leadership of 72. Armor of 30. Yeah, they're going to be able to go into combat and do a lot, it looks like. They do cost a lot, but we do get 20 more as well. Let's go look at their little blare of lore. The Shadow Warriors of Nagareth are the Grim Soldiers who fight for revenge alone, then over here, as well as commanding bands of Shadow Warriors, Shadow Walkers form an elite retinue of you know, the finest who accompany Alithanar into battle. Yeah, these soldiers are great. I'll take some more archers, I'll take some more of these soldiers over here. Won't have a lot of money, but that is okay. I can get rid of that building later. I'm going to keep it for now. I would like to be able to recruit. Oh, right, we do have Tomb Kings to fight. That should be glorious, man. Oh, we're about to have a pretty big rebellion, too. I'll have to come back home to help out. I've got Arnheim. We do have walls over here. I think we might be able to pull it off. We might be okay. Yeah, I can't get a new lord yet. If we can do that, we'll make more money. And I would like to go after you, Exarian. 
Again, it's quite difficult. Going after Exarian can be a challenge. He's in Hag Hall. Could I take over a location like Hag Hall right away? Maybe. Let me think about that real quick. If I took out their leader and then I attacked, yeah, I would be able to. But because he's able to recruit more, I'm not too sure how that might go. But I was able to bypass him and go after Ball's Anvil, which I now own. If they want to take it back, okay, I'll let them have it. There's one rebellion happening right now. That didn't take long, but usually we can deal with it. Okay. Back to me again. Raiding. We've got a few Drukia over here getting ready to attack me. Mission aborted. Uh-oh. Did you die? Okay. Well, you're gone. That's one target gone right now. So someone killed them off. So other people can kill off your targets too. Exarian, you're who I want to kill, but can I get to you right away? That's a good question. I guess we can move over here and find out. If I attack you now, you'll still have quite a few extra units over here at Hag Hall. So what I can do instead, I could either move around you. I could try to march around you. If I do that, it might draw you out. Though my units might tire out, it would draw you out. If I could beat you in that one battle, I would feel pretty good about it. I would like to go back home and handle that other rebellion too. Or we could begin to raid. I never really raid, so I might More actually do that to try to draw them out. There we go. It really is not a lot of money, but I think I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, let's end our turn again. Again, my goal is to try to kind of coax them out. I want to be like, hey there, little shy buddy. Come on out. Come play a little bit. That way we can crucify him. Yeah. We've got to out edge the edgy dark elves. And to do that, you got to crucify. I don't write the rules, I just talk about them. Okay, that siege battle is going to be a challenge if I don't get to fight him on the field of battle. I want him to come after me, but I wonder. He might try to outnumber me completely before he does that. And if he does that, I'm going to have a pretty tough battle. We're going to lose a lot, but... Tadanak, what are you doing? If you want to come over here and take out a rebellion from me, I wouldn't be mad, but I doubt you'll want to do that. After we win here, I might go after my home kingdom over in Ulthawan. That way we have more money for later. Okay, so you're moving, you're growing. Another mission aborted, another target gone. My missions for all of that will change up again in a little while, in 14 turns. Ridiculous. Okay, if you want to move out of that location, that's okay. Because right now we can also use it as bait. Now they can go after Vol's Anvil, then I can go into Hag Hall. Twilight. Then we win. Okay, Arnheim. You're a really tough location. I will have to probably pick up someone to fight here. I don't like the idea of getting someone who's going to cost me a lot of money, but I'm going to have to right now. And my upkeep will go up. That can wait. They might even besiege me, but yeah, if they get any more units, I'm going to be in big trouble. So I've got to hurry up and get a few units over there to help me defend. If I take out Hag Hall, I might be able to speed down here, but I have a feeling they might go after Arnheim right now. Or maybe they'll spend like one more turn getting more units, and then I'll be in big trouble. Hopefully my towers will be sufficient to wipe them out. Or maybe they'll try to besiege me, that would be even better. Having any type of insurrection like that is going to be fairly common. These aren't our people. We're here to conquer. I mean, they used to be our people, but then they got a little bit too weird. They don't do that blood stuff as much as they do. Or, you know, like, partying until you roll into your own vomit. The yeah, Cold of Pleasure stuff gets a little bit strange and grotesque. Tiaranok, you're in trouble. Illyrian took you over. That was quick. And Illyrian does not like me. Okay, so what are we looking at now? They are besieging me. He's not moving out of Hank Hall, which means that I'm coming down right now. Okay. Let's go. Time for me to upgrade that location into a haven. That'll be tier 2 at that point. Alright, what else do I want then? What would benefit me right now? Cheaper buildings, more growth? Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Okay, let's end our turn again. We kind of have to right now. Right now, we're being thrown around by our foes. I mean, again, they might go after Vol's Anvil. My big hope right now is that they might go after it, and then they'll take it. That way, I can go to Hag Hall. They can only defend one location. They can't defend two. 
If they are divided, they will be in trouble. But we'll see if they actually take the bait or not while I'm down here trying to put down another rebellion. But rebellions mean extra money for me, extra training. I take it as a training opportunity right by my capital. So actually, I should be thanking you, little rebel army. You're coming here to train my soldiers. Thank you, you're very kind. Will I kill you? Yes, I will. Oh, indeedly, I shall. Okay, a new turn for me again. There we go. Back to my turn again. How far do I need to go? I can go right by them over here. Look at how far I'm able to move. That is really beautiful. Oh my god. I ambushed you. You're kidding me. That's amazing. So no matter what, when I attack... <laughs> I got him. Okay. Tararosh, time for you to die. Again, great trading for me. Now that's exciting. Holy crap, dude. So even when they're trying to besiege me, I can like leave my walls and be all sneaky beaky and I can surround them like that. That's really cool. So now we're fighting the Battle of Arnheim. This might be too much fun, like playing with my foes. I totally get it now. I totally get why he wants to crucify a lot of Dark Elves. It's fun. Okay, Shadow King. Spearman. Let's go look over here. So I know you've got Witch Elves, and these ladies like to work out, and they like to stab. Oh, man, look at you. Check out that lady. I know, a few of you are like, she goes to Hot Topic too much, but not bad. Okay, she does have Cold One Dread Knights. Cold One Dread Knights are incredibly powerful at such a low tier. I'm probably going to use my dragon to breathe on them. You do have Harpies too. Repeater Crossbows. I've got to be careful here. I really do. Oh, you gave me Leathern Sea Guard. Great. Okay, okay. So if you gave me that, my reinforcements are coming from over here. That's where I want you to come from then. Yeah, come over here. I'm going to use all of you. Great Eagle, you'll help out. Spearman, I want you to kind of wait up here too. Help me stay in position. Okay, go into guard mode. Go over here. Go over here. And now we can look at what is happening right now. Time for a great ambush. Yeah, I want all of you to go after these freaking Cold One Dread Knights whenever they come after me. If not, already we've killed a lot of these Dark Riders. I mean, they have shields, but who cares, really? Yeah, I know you're tired, but I don't really care either. Let's go. Come on, all of you. Let's go in right now. Now... Because they have large units and we are bracing, we're going to counter their entire charge bonus if they're able to actually get the charge in. If not, well, they're dead. They're done for. Already, look at every volley destroying them. Every volley is wiping them out. Let's come over here. I'm going to bring in all of my units real quick. There's my Moon Dragon. Come on in. Lithanar, come over here. They're charging in. Okay, let's go look at that real quick in slow motion. Now, they're going to break through a little bit, but again, we did negate their charge bonus, meaning that extra 42 going to their melee attack and their weapon strength has been negated. They are buffed up, so they still will do a lot of damage. And they're still strong by default, but one bonus gone. One step at a time. Okay, Lothern Sea Guard, you've got your own weapons that can handle them. Try to go after that real quick. Archers, why don't you go after Witch Elves over here? Great Eagle, why don't you come over here after their Dark Shards and... Oh, here we go. We've got more enemies coming after me right now. That should be fun. Let's go after a few Harpies now. We're in guard mode. We should be okay. I think we'll be okay. Keep on going, Great Eagle. Oh, you've killed three already? Who came after you? Someone came after you. Well, you killed them. Great. Okay, here comes my Moon Dragon now. It's only a reinforcing garrison army too, so I feel like that's actually pretty darn good. Oh, shoot. They're really hitting hard. Black Art Corsairs are coming in too. But my Lothian Sea Guard will have to fight for now. Let's go right in. Go after her, I think. Your range is incredible. Let's come over here too and use our breath to go after. We can go kill these knights. It's 44 of them, so let's go kill them right now. My Lothian Sea Guard might break, but they're meant to stay here to help me fight in melee combat as well. Look at that Dragon Breath attack. Completely ripping through their formation and doing so much damage. Now they're in trouble. Okay. Great Eagle, I know that you're all bound up alone, but you're going to wipe out a lot of them. I'm going to move you over here, archers, to go flank these guys. When you do that, you'll kill so many more of them. Lothian Sea Guard, come over here and kill more of them. I'm going to have all of you go after this one group now. A few Black Heart Corsairs are attacking me. 
Okay. Luther Nara, keep on moving in. It doesn't really matter. We're here. If I lost my entire garrison army, it still wouldn't be a huge deal. I mean, I hate to say it, but it would not be a huge deal right now for me. Okay, let's go after... Let's go help out my... Allies over here. We're fighting a few mounted units. Or actually, we can help out my eagle. We'll do that. Alright, move back a little bit. I know that you're fighting a few awful harpies, but... They're about to be gone. We're about to use another breath attack. We can use it on her for fun. Yeah, go kill some more Dread Knights again. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So, Elithanar, let's get you over here. Go after her. Go hunt down their sorceress. And I want you two to come over here. I know that you're tearing through a lot of my poor range units. So, let's see. Move over here right now. Spearman. I want two of you to get ready to go after more targets over here. Actually, let me get three. Yeah, if all of you keep on attacking targets like that, they'll eventually break and fall apart. Okay, move over here. Use your clone. Most of them are beginning to run, and they're dead. They're done for. That was a lot of shooting, but they did not make it. Now, I'm not going to chase them to the very ends of the earth, because after this battle, I'll be able to follow them. We lost only 298. We were able to relax, have a pretty good time. She killed 57. Wow, okay. Good for you, Mighty Lady. I mean, level 1. It's actually really good for a level 1 spellcaster to just be able to rip through me like that. It's rude. You broke my heart. Now, she's got a pretty good army, considering that we're at a very low tier right now. A noble but we had too many. It must okay, I could kill them. I could take money. Or I could replenish for now. Why don't we take Remove money? Their my Later, I might train them up a little bit more, but yeah, that'll do. Okay, the terrifying mask of E. Never look upon the terrifying mask of E. You don't know what you might see. Ah, very scary. Now. Okay, sweet of a saurian, your melee defense and see will go up. Nah. I can make my dragons more powerful. That's really good too. But for now, let's go after militia master. Usually, I would go after bow master, but for now. Turning an untrained bunch of regular citizens into effective fighting units requires a special kind of talent and oodles of patience. Okay, more melee defense for all of them. And now we get to attack enemies in one more turn. Yeah, they'll be okay. Let's end our turn now. We're on turn 10. We've had a few good battles. I hope they go over to Vol's Anvil. If not, Again, I've got to find a way to get them out of there. I might even just kind of build up a full army. Then I'll besiege them. If they want to sally out and try to fight me, then sure, they can do that. If not, well, I'll take care of them. But the goal is to try to make them lead their walls. Whenever they lead their walls, I can have a nice advantage. I can attack them whenever I want. I can move all over the map. So that's really the goal right now. As I am at Lithanar. Okay. No, he's not moving out. I have a feeling they're waiting for maybe a few more units to join their army. I hope I do get an agent pretty soon. Where are you moving to? Oh, you're going back over here to try to besiege me. Okay. You're being that's vindictive. Yeah, that sounds about right. Another rebellion over here. Now, if they burn down, that might be okay. I could destroy that building and make a little bit of gold back, like 600 gold back. Yeah, I think I might do that. But for now, let's go Attack destroy now. this little rebellion. They're calls. done for. It's war. Give me more money again. They are nothing. Release them. Okay, I've got a blade of Belcor Hadris. So now I've got magical attacks already. The sword of the beloved Scholar King is a renowned worm slayer. A new right unlocked. Not one I've got three now. Vigorous. And a level five. Okay, here you go. More melee defense. Actually, let's go after Bowmaster. There we go. More ammo for my ranged units. That'll be handy. The Moonbow. Yeah, the Moonbow is powerful. Stone of Midnight. Yeah, we stole that too. We've got that in the very beginning. Look at that. Missile resistance goes up by 22%. So we can really keep our ranged units going. Alright. Time for me to move along. I would like to actually go back home and conquer a few other locations, but if they're going to make me stay here, then alright. Let's go to Bleak Hold Fortress. I know things aren't happy right now, but we're trying to work on it. Arnheim, I believe you might be okay. 
Okay, if they come over here to burn down Ball's Anvil, that's really not my fault. So I'm going to destroy that building to make my build back. Okay, that would give us all more public order. I think I might take it right now. Invocation of Asurian. Yeah, cheaper buildings, more public order. I could use a bit of that. Maybe more than all the gold that I have right now. So we'll take that right now. Great. We'll make more gold back from destroying that one building. And now we can... It's turn again. Yeah, I can only recruit two more. Then I've got to go after Hag Hall. I have a feeling they'll go after Paul's Anvil, destroy it. But that's okay. After I take out my primary foe, I could go back home to my kingdom over in Ulthawan, conquer that, and then come back over here. It's a lot of, like, going back and forth. And I hate spending turns like that without fighting directly, not stop. But if we do that and then we come back, we can focus on conquering more lands over here. And I do want that Shrine of Cain. Maybe I do want that sword. Might be cool to have. No, if that sword was strong, people would freak out. High elves were not okay with that. For many of them, it wasn't even like a sign of last resort. It's like, okay, you want too much power. We might kill you. Okay, so they went over there to the Gorge. Great. They were like, let's expand. Good idea. Well, we have some evil power coming to attack us. That's me. I'm the evil power. Oh, no. There's no way we can beat that. Let them have it. Okay, so... They didn't burn it down. It's actually pretty good. Let them have it. The whole goal of that was to weaken my enemy. A quest issued. You want me to raid Storag Kor way up here. The moon bow's quiver is empty. No ordinary arrows can be loosed by such a bow. Only those fletched with feathers soaked in druky blood. Because why not? Warrant the string to be drawn. Collecting such ingredients would be a grisly task for any southern elf. But it's one of the Shadow King will gladly perform. Okay, so we get more of a charge bonus for all armies around the map. And we get to move wherever. There we go. Okay, we're going after Hag Hall, then later that location. So I'll be able to conquer a lot of what they have because of it. Okay, if I do that, what do I want? Well, I'm going to build a watchtower. I mean, beyond anything else that I do want, I would like Illyrian Reavers. I mean, those could be so mighty early on. But for now, I'm going to get my watchtower. Watchtowers dot the mountain redoubts and fortified cities of the Asur. They shall deny any unwanted intrusions. I still have money to build you, Rally Field. I mean, that would unlock technology for me to research, and I should probably get that as early as I can. Okay, if they go back to Hag Hall, I'll go take them out anyway, because if you look at it, they look a little bit weaker than usual. I wonder if they had Skaven there. Maybe they had Skaven over there. You know, those little rat fuckers. Oh no, there's Marathi. Listen, we go on one date. She keeps nagging. I mean, I did steal her Midnight Jewel. Hey. No, you can make all the jokes that you want about Marathi. She's evil as hell, dude. That is not a good human being. Well, because she's not a human being, but she's not a good person. A good individual, all right? Oh, Illyrian is fighting me. Oh, dear. My own people. So now I've got more land to go after when I go after them. That's going to be interesting. All right. They're all making me go back and forth right now. Let's go look at it. So you've got a pretty full army, it looks like. I'll have to go back and go fight you later. Okay, Hag Hall, can I go after you right now? If I do that... You won't have the biggest army. It'll still be pretty darn big, but let's go in anyway. I've got to, right? Okay, so they could fight me on the field of battle. I would nearly prefer that, actually. Yeah. I think I would prefer that. I could shoot up a lot of them with what I have. Okay, if you want to come on out, come on out. If not, I'll come after you again, but we're going to beat them now. I'm a little bit stronger than I was before. I would like more units. I kind of wish I did have more units, but that's okay. I'll have to save my money. Let's go over here and build what? Can I build a ram in one turn? I can. Okay. Yeah, I can build a ram in one turn. So we can break down that gate. <laughs> I'm here now. Okay, so I've got to win here. Then I'm going to go back home to go handle... The Illyrians. I can't believe they're attacking me. If only Tedanok didn't lose, man. That would be great, but they did lose. Now I've got a challenge for me. Yeah, I wonder if they'll actually attack me. That would be great. I'll have to fight them. I have no choice but to fight them. The only thing that I can do there is to win. 
There are a few times when you just can't have everything in your favor, so you just gotta outplay your foe. It's not a great place to be in, because then you've got to only rely on yourself, which I guess I should have more confidence in myself, but still. <laughs> no, I think I can pull it off. We'll find out. There we go. Alright, so we've got to kill a lot of them, right? Yeah, we've got to hunt down a lot of Druki today. The Battle of Hank Hall. Okay, so my goal is to take out their leader at some point. Their riders I might be able to beat early on. I feel like I've got enough archers and dragons to kill a lot of them. Okay, if I could keep you away from your friends and have you come towards me, that would be ideal. You are coming to attack me. Alright, so maybe if I stay over here, that would be a better idea. Let's go look at it real quick. I'm going to move quite a few of you. Maybe down here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll move up then. So come over here. Other spearmen, you'll wait over here. For now, archers, you'll all be here. You've got a greater range than what they have. And shadow walkers, you'll come join me. Alright? Because you're good at what you do. Okay. Moon dragon, move over here. And now we're ready. So let's go into battle right now. We've got battles to fight. We need to lock up our formation with Control G. Right, let's find out what they want to do. I have no idea what they want to do with that, but Moon Dragon, come over here. You'll need to run interference for me in case they just want to come bother me. But look at that. A shot already in the very beginning, taking down one of their riders. Oh. One dead. I love it. It feels brutal. A range of 180 is really immense, man. If we get more of those soldiers, we're going to be able to kill so many of them. All right, let's come over here now and go breathe on them a little bit. Let's go after some dark shards for fun. I like killing dark shards, man. I really do. It's a lot of fun. Okay, come over here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move my units up just a wee bit, like over here. But I want all my archers who are in guard mode to go after these dark riders. Yeah, that might be able to pull it off. Come over here. You can move back a little bit. Moon dragon, come over here too. And with the Gnar, we can have you kind of do your thing real quick. And bring up a few friends. Got your clone. The clone actually worked out just fine. Look at that. Okay, Dragon, we can move you back over here then. I could have you go after a fairly more deadly group like these Dark Riders on the left flank. Okay, I'm going to need you to brace before they reach you, so get ready for that. No, they're done for. Okay, good, good. Go kill a few more of them. Lithanar, come over here. Go kill some more Dark Shards. I want you to come over here. Let's have you breathe on a big group of these enemies of mine. Like a bunch of Black Ark Corsairs might be a good call. Alright, so you two will be over here staggering up your formation. I'm going to bring up more of you over here now to come help out. Archers, I want all of you to move up. Just a wee bit. Okay, my Shadow Clan will go charge into combat right now. Here we go, let's go check it out. I want it to be in slow motion, that way you could check out a Dragon Breath attack. Much like that. I'm sure they appreciate it. Look at that, I took some damage, I know I did. Got 82 kills, but it was worth it. I'll be back. Alright, so come over here, go stop them. Come over here, go kill more of them. You'll come in and go kill more Dark Shards. I've got more Spears over here too. Wait, where did he go? Oh, they're trying to go around me. Okay, that's cute. Well, I'm going to go bring you over here real quick. And maybe you over here. A few more of you will move up right now. I've got to win this battle. I think I can pull it off. We're going to find out, though. Go kill some more Dark Shards. Go into normal battle speeds now. Let's go look at it real quick. So I'm going to have you go charge in after another group of Dark Shards. You're holding on to my left flank. Okay, maybe I will need more over here. So go move in. What about those riders? Are they behind me? They're not behind me. Not directly. Not like I thought they were. They come over here. I think we'll be okay. Archers keep on attacking. Thank you so much for that. Shadow Walkers, I want you to come over here to keep on attacking too. Yeah, if we just kind of use our dragon quite a bit, we can beat the initial army. Now, they do have reinforcing units coming on the way. I didn't realize how many more they had, but that is really and truly a lot. So let's try to go after all these freaking Dread Spears. They're going to have their murderous intent inflicted upon me pretty darn soon. 
Okay, you've killed 90 so far. It's really good. All right, so you're fighting over here in the middle of all of that business right now. You've got them largely stuck where they're fighting you. So if you can just like, keep them there for a little while, that'd be great. Okay, Spears. Let's try to reinforce a little bit. I'll have to grind them down. I hate having to do that, but I've got to do that real quick. Okay, Dragon, come over here. Or actually, why don't you move back here and use another breath attack on these Black Art Corsairs. Right now, I can use a few more breath attacks to really wipe them out. Uh oh, we have another attack coming after me. Shoot. I had a feeling they would come after me like that, and they did. All right, Spears, let's bring you over here onto the right flank. Archers, you're not meant to be moving up like that. What are you doing? You were in guard mode. You should be staying in guard mode. Okay, so we've beaten a lot of these enemies of mine. There's a few of them that are terrified, as they will should be. You were meant to use your breath attack and charge in, but it looks like you didn't use your breath attack. All right, try it now. Go kill another unit. Come on, come on. You gotta do it now. My Shadow Walkers took some damage, but not enough to really break them, so that's great. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna bring my dragon back. And now we can use a breath attack right over here, where we might be able to kill so many more of them. My left flank, we're taking some damage. Go push in a little bit. Let's wait here for a little while. Archers, I'm gonna move two of you over here to help me out. My other two archers will keep on attacking a bunch of these dark shards or whoever else they can really get. Yeah, come onto the front lines, maybe move away. I know that you keep getting stuck in a few locations. That's really unfortunate. Spearman, move over here. Let's move Ilithanar back. Or just let him keep on fighting for now. That would actually work out just fine, too. Okay, come over here. I've got to try to take out a few more of these Dark Shards, man. They are pretty brutal. They are hurting me a lot. Let's go after more of them. Alright, Shadow Walkers. I think you're killing a lot of these Shred Spears. I mean, they're kind of stuck on the front lines of being killed. Go kill more Black Orc Corsairs. I mean, those are really the tough ones that I need to go after. All right, so if I get everyone to go after all these freaking Dark Shards, I think we can really begin to whittle down their numbers, and then later I can focus on their melee units. Come over here, go after more Dark Shards. You've got another Breath Attack, actually, so let's go use that in 15 seconds. Hold on. All these volleys are just beginning to beat them down. I'm going to lose a lot, trust me. I know. I know that I'm going to lose a lot, but I've got to be out there. He's killed 29 now. I'm going to move him back real quick. I'm going to let more of you charge in real quick. Like that. You've got a breath attack. Let's go use that right over here where we can wipe out a lot of these dark shards and finally get rid of them. The left flank, it looks like I have it pretty much covered. All of you can charge in. Go reinforce a little bit. We've got one unit that is currently broken, so we need to go help out. Yeah, they had that nice buff that was able to keep them going. So let's go in over here and help out. Lithanar, I know that you're taking a lot of damage. Let's try to move you back real quick. Come on. Go back, go back, go back. Shadow Walkers keep on attacking. Come over here. And over here, too. Man, his Dark Shards are no joke. Alright, there's my clone again. My Shadow Clone, whatever you want to call it. Hey, come over here and go bother some of these archers. Let's see, you've got 184. I feel like I can get more kills with a freaking dragon, man. I feel like I could. Alright, for you, 97 kills. Good work. We still have a lot more of these Dark Shards to take out. The Dreadlord is still alive somehow. Yeah, if all of you just keep on focusing on these freaking range units, I feel like we can just really begin to get rid of all of them. My spearmen are just kind of here to help me hold the line until my archers can really help out. And you, well, you did a lot of melee killing, but now it's time for you to come over here to help me out with range attacks again. Yeah, if I get all of my volleys to go out like that, that's going to be great. Let's move you back out to use another charge. Maybe I'll have you come over here to the left flank to help out. It's really up to me on what I want you to do. I've killed a lot of them. I really have to. It's great. Alright, so you have no more breath attacks, so come back over here and charge back in. Let's have you come over here and go after some of these Black Art Corsairs, where they don't have anti-large abilities. Let's see what I can't attack. Hold on. That terrain's causing a few blockages for me. It's actually really inconvenient. Yeah, come over here and attack. You got it. Is it telling you that you can't see them? Because you should be able to see them just fine. Yeah, go get them anyway. You've killed 41. Good work. Keep on attacking. Shadow Walkers, you're over here. A little bit too close. Move on in. Let's see, what about my dragon? He's killed a lot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Charging right into the middle of it all. He's a busybody. He likes to keep him busy, man. Okay, archers. Yeah, keep on going after their dark shards. We've got to go after all of them. So keep on trying to kill these guys. I want them dead. I want them dead now. Shadow Walkers, keep on attacking. Yeah, I've got some shots left. I can put Dread Spears. I mean, that's going to take a while to get rid of, to dislodge. Okay, I'm coming over here to the left flank to go finish off these Blank Arc Corsairs, so that way we're not having to worry about them anymore. 
Let's see real quick. I'm still attacking. We're still killing so many more of these Dark Shards. I mean, they have a pretty big army of 1900s, a pretty big force. They had mounted units too to come after me with. All right, go charge in. I've got to get you to help me out. I need my dragon to come back in. I'm going to have you come over here instead of go after that Death Hag. I wanted to shoot her up, but I'm too busy right now. I can't do it right now. Okay, so all of you can go into melee. So you're going to do that right now. You kind of have to, Shadow Walkers. I hate to have you go into melee, but again, you're pretty strong. You killed 127. Now, let's move you over here. We'll move you over here. I want all my archers to come over here, though, to help out. My Moon Dragon can probably wipe out the Death Hag, or at least freak her out. I think they can. They're still pressing me really hard right now, so I need to go help out, but... The left flank should be okay on their own. My other units, I'm not too sure. We're going to find out. Got a lot of low tier stuff, so. All right, come over here. Here we go. Time to go after a few more Dread Spears. How's my Moon Dragon doing? 230 kills. Oh, yeah. Go take out that freaking lady right now. I know we've got a few more Black Heart Corsairs to go kill. We're trying to hold them off real quick. I'm going to try to bring a few of you over here to come help me out, but give me a bit. They're still beginning to churn through all of my freaking infantry. They're very good at that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring my archers over here. For one. I'm going to bring one group of spearmen to come over here to come help me out. We're in big trouble, so let's go help out. Yeah, keep on attacking. You got it. That Dreadlord only killed 34. Alithanar, I'm going to have you use your decoy real quick to go bother units from behind. I wonder if that's going to freak them out and cause fear and more, and more terror. I mean, that would be ideal to cause more fear and more terror. All right, let's go after... Some more Dark Shards. There's only 14 over here. It's really not too many. Let's go attack over here, too. We have more units beginning to flee. Let's come over here now and go after maybe some Black Orc Corsairs over on that side. Or get rid of that freaking Death Hag. She's aggravated me a lot. I want her dead. So go kill her real quick. She deserves to die. All right, now we've got to go chase after a few more of them because, I mean, those who are going back to town will probably heal up pretty darn fast. So I'm going to try to chase after a lot of them. Come over here real quick. Go take out that Death Hag. You two move over here. You can wipe out the Death Hag. Okay, Spearman, let's go pop in and kill some more targets who are fleeing from me right now. Okay, so you've killed 50 now. At the very least, we're growing stronger too. So, I mean, even if we don't take their town just yet, we fought a major battle. We know that we can win. It's really just a matter of now chasing after a few more units, getting rid of them, and maybe pursuing the attack in just a little while. Okay. Where's my dragon? Here's my moon dragon again. Come over here and form up. Go attack over here. I thought we would be done, but those Black Orc Corsairs killed 148. They've killed way too many. The Shadow Warriors over here, they're at 194. Yeah, go chase after a few more of them. Moon dragon, come over here and go after those Black Orc Corsairs. They're shooting like point blank. I mean, Black Orc Corsairs are a pretty decent tier. They're anti-infantry. We only have spearmen and archers right now. They go chase after a few of them. We'll come after more of them. Come over here. Archers, you know, yeah, I'm going to have you come back, actually. Okay, we could go into melee combat. I think I will do that. Let's go. All of you, let's go in. I'm bringing in my dragon pretty soon. It's not a metaphor. All right, come on, Moon Dragon, let's go. As you say, for the king. Shadow Warriors, I feel like you can handle it. I mean, you're at over 200 kills now. King They're just cutting down everyone. I mean, they've got poison tipped blades. I feel like they can do it. But if too many enemies come after them, they might be in trouble. But for now, it looks like they're okay. I think they might be okay. I could give them a dragon to help out. You know what? I'm going to do that. Oh, no. Now they're in trouble. They got charged by way too many. Don't you wipe them out. They might actually do it. Oh, no. Lithanar, go wipe out that Druki. They had 20 left. Yeah, they just all began to come back right away, and that caused a few issues, but we won the battle. Okay, before we do anything, we need to try to kill you. That was a really costly fight, but I had a feeling it would be. I just didn't want to back down. I can't always back down. Oh, no. If you want to go hunt, go hunt. There went pretty much all of my ammo. My archers got a lot of kills. Yeah, if they didn't have so many dark shards, I probably could have held them in place with a few spearmen. Then I could have flanked them easily. Then we would have been able to kill a lot more. That's usually how that works out, but they had a lot of dark shards, and I made it very difficult. I can't quite reach you, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to end our battle now. 
All right, Pyrrhic victory. So we're looking at what? Over 1,000 lost. Unfortunately, they lost many more, but they had a lot of stuff there. That made it quite difficult. They came in two waves, and again, I just had a lot of spearmen. But we can always pull back and get more units in the future. A siege battle that early on is actually fairly difficult in a capital province. Usually you have to take like a few more minor locations and then you get to build up, but they don't always have like a major army right in their capital in the very beginning like that for you to have to worry about. He's right in our way. Okay, let's come over here. 3% replenishment. That's really not a lot. Oh, wow. That's really not a lot at all. Forced labor did not work out for me. But no, if I could even auto-resolve or do whatever I can to finish that battle, that would be ideal. I don't know how many they have left. Hopefully not too many. Because I would love to get rid of Hag Hall. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to be in trouble. Nagarith but I've got to go fight it anyway, right? More. Yeah, I've got no choice. I've got to go fight it. So let's go in. To I'm going to have Shadow quite a few Warriors. units who are not happy about it, but I've got to go in anyway. But a dragon, so I'm not too worried about it. I can use my Shadow Walkers and have them like climb up. If they were at full strength, I would use them and have them probably like, capture a gate or at least like climb onto the walls. You could get them to like climb onto the walls of one side of maybe a siege. They could climb up and then begin to shoot down. I mean, they might be relatively unprotected, but you could have a Moon Dragon screen them and they could do a lot more damage after that. But no, we're good. We're going to freaking take Hack Hall. I want it. But that really is a lot of Siege Towers, or not Siege Towers, but, you know, just Towers in general. All right, so let's come over here, where I can move all of my Spearmen. You two will be over here. Yeah, we can kind of, like, go around. That's great, actually. And if I put you nearby, you'll screen them a little bit by shielding them from ranged damage. What a great idea. All right, there's my Dragon. Okay, we don't really need a ram. Not where I'm going. Okay, let's go now. How are we going to do it? I could even shoot a few of them. That would be fun. Okay, a little bit out of your range. Now they're coming after me right now. I've got to go move a little bit then. Okay, so let's go up and attack. Maybe like right over here. Go into guard mode. I want all my spearmen to move up pretty soon or... Maybe just my dragon come over here real quick. Let's go. I'm not going to bring in my decoy yet. I will, though. I will. Just not yet. Yeah, come on up. That tower is going to be annoying. Wait. He's able to attack a tower directly? Holy crap. How much damage? Only three? Okay. Only three percent per shot. But if I could wipe out their blasted freaking... Oh, that would be beautiful, right? All right. That decoy could even keep a lot of my units safe as I try to climb onto the walls. But let's go wipe out a fairly large group. I can go kill that Death Hag pretty early on. Dark Riders, I don't really care for. Let's come over here. Kill some Dark Shards. Hold on. We got it. That's a pretty big hit. A lot of Archers are taking out more Dread Spears on the walls. I don't feel cruel about that at all. I wonder, would a Siege Battle have been better? No, no, we would have eventually run out of arrows and then we would have had to grind them down anyway, so it probably would not have been better. As much as I wish it was so, let's go look back here. Who do we have? Dark Riders and their Dread Lord. I would like to go charge at him and hopefully not lose my Moon Dragon. I might be a little bit too audacious here, but let's hope that maybe I'm not being too audacious. Okay, let's go after that Death Hag. Go into guard mode. I'm going to let you come on up. She's about to go down, too. Too many elven shafts. Fine. Elven Lithanar shafts. And she's down! Did it count? Feels good, man. Feels good. We did it. Another breath attack. I could do that instead. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I even consider that? Let's come over here and wipe out that Dreadlord. Goodbye, now. No one ever wanted you. That was a decent amount of damage. All right, I'm going to move back now before he's able to kill my Moon Dragon. A thing that I do not want when I can just, like, shoot up all of his people and then take over the gate. Actually, you know what? If we can do that, let's go over here and get that ram. I'm going to have you go break down their front gate. Moon Dragon, come on back. Archers, I'm going to let you go after these Dark Shields over here. Or Dark Shards, whatever, man. They're my foes. I don't care what they're called. Let's go get them. Moon Dragon o'clock. 
And we're in. Now, the campaign beginning is certainly difficult, but I feel like if you can navigate your way pretty well, you can eventually have a really strong position. Now, Illyrian attacking you is probably a wrench in his plans, I'm sure. That probably isn't what you wanted. It's not what I wanted. If it happens to you, man, I'm sure it's not what you wanted either. Go kill them. It's funny what you'll do with a great tool, even though you kind of misused it before. But like, okay, I've got to be careful now. Look at him. He's like, my men! And once I beat him, I'm going to get a lot of gold, too. That's going to be fantastic. Don't you shoot my dragon. Hey, it's not Monster Hunter, okay? Get out of here. Yeah, use your breath attack. All of you go after that unit. Come break down the front gate for me. Go charge in. That was pretty dirty, man. Can you handle it? Oh, he did handle it. Holy crap, he did. Yeah, that dragon was like, nope, I'm not going to play around with that. You're a tiny little elf thing. I'm Big Dragon. I know how dragons feel about cars. All right. Exarian. So they lost five. Where I lost five, they lost a lot more than that. They're gone now. What I could have done when I think about it, I could do a thing that I don't often do in my other campaigns. I could attack and then pull back after I use up all of my range attacks. I mean, it's really type of, it's kind of a gamey thing, but it feels appropriate. Any, any like type of like really dirty trick that I have, I feel like I should use the as a Lithanar. Okay, time for me to we shall loot and occupy. I'm empowered by Lord. One gone. That is a lot of influence. I get stalk and slay. High elves do like me more, and I do cause fear when fighting dark elves now. Loic, the god of deadly dances, has given Anar a name, a dark elf whose own dance should end, war or not. We get a scarecrow banner. We can diminish enemy leadership whenever they're flying. All right. I did level up. Elven healing is quite good. I need to get that later. Okay, take Bowmaster for now. There we go. Now they can do more damage, and they'll have the more ammunition too. Okay, so I can get Lothar and Seaguard. I don't have a lot of money for that. What about Illyrian? Are they coming after me now? We can get military advancements. We'll take that too. So we finally have that. We're on turn 13. And what about over here? Let's see. Damage building. I've got a lot to prepare. I've got some money though. Yeah, that will give me livestock pins. I'll be able to get some nice horse units and a rally field if I want that. Okay, I could combine what I have right now and just recruit more. It's really up to me. I think I will do that. Boom, done. Okay, so I'm going to take a few more archers after I get spearmen. Now, I really do want some shadow warriors and other units too, but shadow walkers are so cheap right now. Shadow warriors cost me a little bit more for a little bit less, but... Outside of just, you know, being a little bit bulkier in terms of number, so I mean, they could be very good for frontline fighting if you need them to do that. Okay, so take that. I don't want to use up all my money, but I think what I'll do, actually, I'm going to take up my Shadow Warriors. I mean, it's really not cheap. I don't like spending all that money, but give me one group of Shadow Warriors. I'll be here for three turns. I'm going to take up Lizard and Sea Guard. They do have anti-large. Yeah. A decent missile range. Nah. Let's keep it a bit cheaper for now. Yeah, I do want my shields still. So I'm going to take three of you. Global recruitment. Yeah, we'll keep on doing that. We'll take for, let's see over here. I'll take the cheaper archers and that will be a much bigger army for me. Okay, so we are going to call it here for right now. I would like to thank all of you for watching. Do leave a like and comment down below. I look forward to another part tomorrow. And as always, until then.